Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial on how to get more FPS with any game you play. First start off by going to the first link in the description to download Razer Game Booster. Once you're on this page, click on free download and it'll take you here. Then just click on download now and the download will start automatically. Just hit save file, but I've already downloaded this and I don't want to download it again. So once you download this, you'll get something on your desktop that looks like this. It's called Razer Game Booster Downloader. So just open this up and click accept. And then here it'll ask you if you want to install Windows Cleaner. I don't want this and you probably don't need this either. So just click skip. And then it'll download the Razer Game Booster Downloader and installation. I don't know why they chose to do it like this, like two separate things. It's, it's pretty stupid, but that's what they chose to do. And I don't want this, so I'm going to untick that. And I'm going to do install and exit. Now I'm just going to close out of this because that is um, for that mix thing. And then once this will open up and it'll be the install shield wizard for Razer Game Booster. And once here, just click next, click on I accept, next again, and change this if you want to, but I would leave it the same. Now click next, and then install. And all you have to do is wait for it to install, it doesn't take long at all. And that's it. Now just click on launch, or keep this ticked, launch, raise your game booster, and I'll click finish, and it should open up. It'll say initializing. Uh, when you first open this, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to log in and everything, or create an account if you already don't have a Razer account. So once you do that, there will be a little thing up here that tells you a little bit about the program. So uh, once you're inside, click on configure, and then, well, if you already don't know what the program does. It closes processes when when you launch a game, it'll close the process like a whole bunch of processes only when the game is running. So that way your game will get the maximum performance out of your PC that it should have to get more FPS. So uh, when you open this up, you when you click on configure and all that, just click on anything that you want to close when you start up a game. Um, let's see here. It already automatically takes a whole lot of processes that aren't really important so well actually it really has all of them that I don't want to close so it also cleans your RAM and clears the clipboard and enables game power solutions and turn off automatic updates so that way it won't interrupt your game so once you like the way this is set up just hit apply and then you can either find a game here like a, the one that's already on here, or you can add one from a your own destination. I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to run the most intensive game that I have, which is Spider Solitaire. No, my not, it's Minesweeper. My bad. So it'll it'll launch the game, but it'll close all your it'll close all your processes, as you can see by that just went off for the automatic updates thing. And now this should run very smooth. So now it's, it's running pretty smooth. I could just play a game here without any interruptions and it's it's really smooth. I can't even believe how smooth this is. Oh my god. Well, set this aside. I, I don't want to play this right now. And then once you close it, it returns back, returns back to normal mode and all your settings go back to the way they were. So that's one way to do it. Now there's another way that you can, you can mix in with this. Now to do that, all you have to do is click on the start menu, right click on computer, go to properties, and then click on advanced system settings. Now this will open up and you will, and there will be a little thing here that says performance. Now click on the settings for this and then go to the third option that says adjust for best performance. Click on this and then click on apply. A little screen that says please wait will um, will be like in the middle of the screen. 
just wait for that to go away and then your computer will look like like this it'll be uh it'll look like the basic uh windows like the old the classic windows uh layout they have and but this disables a lot of the of the high tech options that make it look good so now you can have even more fps when you play your games if you mix this this method with the razer game booster you can get a lot better fps now just to go back just do the exact same thing and just advanced system settings and settings again and then let windows choose what's best for my computer or adjust for best appearance i'm gonna put it back on what the default was which was this and then just click apply again and the please wait will be in the middle of the screen again and then you'll be all the way you know back to normal so that's all you have to do and this will this will greatly increase fps hope this works and have a great day